My name is Daphne Lee. It is a pleasure to see all of you. And I am going to be talking about generative AI in finance and banking. Uh, sorry, Daphne, uh, you got muted. Apologies. Yeah, Daphne, uh, if you're able to hear me, you got muted. Okay, can everyone hear yeah. me now? Okay, yes. great. Thank you. Okay, great. So what I would like to do is first start out with a quote from McKinsey and Company. McKinsey is a very prominent consulting company um, globally. And they released a very compelling quote about generative AI shortly last year. And I'm just going to quote it. And I bolded some of the um, things that struck out to me about what they said about generative AI. According to McKinsey, the adoption and implementation of generative AI technologies are expected to bring about significant, even disruptive change within the industry. As many as three quarters of professionals in technology and financial services, think about that now, three quarters, that's 75% of professionals in technology and financial services anticipate this shift for tech and up to 5% in banking. This is coming from McKinsey. This is coming from a renowned global consulting services company. So with that said, they are saying the seismic, the seismic shift underscores the critical role that generative AI is going to play. This comes from enhancing customer service through chatbots to reshaping risk management and compliance. And I'm still quoting McKinsey. So they're saying, furthermore, McKinsey's analysis highlights generative AI's potential to generate between 2.6 trillion with a T to 4.4 trillion in value across various sectors. So for the banking industry, this translates into taking on lower value tasks in risk management and beyond, marking a pivotal moment in how financial services leverage technology to drive efficiency and innovation, end quote. Let that sink in for a minute. This is coming from one of the... What I would like to do is first start out with a quote from... McKinsey and Company. McKinsey is a very prominent consulting company um, globally. And they released a very compelling quote about generative AI shortly last year. And I'm just going to quote it. And I bolded some of the um, things that struck out to me about what they said about generative AI. According to McKinsey, the adoption and implementation of generative AI technologies are expected to bring about significant, even disruptive change within the industry. As many as three quarters of professionals in technology and financial services, think about that now, three quarters, that's 75% of professionals in technology and financial services anticipate this shift for tech and up to 5% in banking. This is coming from McKinsey. This is coming from a renowned global consulting services company. So with that said, they are saying the seismic, the seismic shift underscores the critical role that generative AI is going to play. This comes from enhancing customer service through chatbots to reshaping risk management and compliance. And I'm still quoting McKinsey. So they're saying, furthermore, McKinsey's analysis 
highlights generative AI's potential to generate between 2.6 trillion with a T to 4.4 trillion in value across various sectors. So for the banking industry, this translates into taking on lower value tasks in risk management and beyond, marking a pivotal moment in how financial services leverage technology to drive efficiency and innovation, end quote. Let that sink in for a minute. This is coming from one of the world's global renowned consulting firms, this quote, talking about generative AI and accounting and finance. They use the word disruptive, not transformative, not game-changing, not any of the trending words we see when it comes to AI in general, disruptive. So with that said, I wanna move on to my next slide. And that is to welcome all of you to the world of banking and finance. And I wanna take this as a culinary journey. I want to make this fun. I want to approach this as where we blend the art of finance with the science of AI. Just like in the kitchen, every tool and ingredient plays a crucial role in creating the perfect dish. Why is that? Because it's simple. Much as a whisk turns eggs into an airy omelet, Generative AI simplifies complex financial processes into smooth, straightforward operations. And another thing that it does is you can organize your ideas clearly. I don't want anyone in this room to be intimidated by generative AI. I want you to look at it as an ally, something that's here to smooth and make your lives easier. And finance is going to be like having the ultimate kitchen organizer, ensuring that all of your financial utensils and ingredients are exactly where you need them. It's going to streamline your workflows and enhance clarity. So it's going to be like you'll never forget to buy your milk. And speaking of never forgetting to buy milk, generative AI is going to act as your sous chef in finance. It's keeping track of the essentials so you'll never miss a detail. So it's ensuring liquidity is maintained and operational smoothness. So our tasting menu for today, we are going to first open up with an appetizer. So using that as an analogy, we're gonna compare the dynamics of a kitchen to a finance department. Both of them require decision, precision, expert oversights and timely execution. So think of executive chefs as humans. In the kitchen, the executive chef oversees the menu and the quality, similar to how financial leaders manage strategies and operations. And in this scenario, AI is the sous chef. AI assists assists like a sous chef. It handles the data preparation and the process optimization. So in finance, AI automates the routine tasks like data analysis and transaction processing. It allows the human to focus on strategic decisions. And that's why I want everyone to approach generative AI as an ally because you're the creative force 
leading the strategy and AI is the tool helping you with the mundane tasks. So in a collaborative setting, it's the synergy that is taking place. You are the executive chef and generative AI is boosting that creativity and pro productivity for you. And so the outcome is the effective teamwork in play. So that moves us to the second course where we're going to discover the array of services that will be enhancing with AI. And that goes from personal banking delicacies to corporate financing feasts. So we'll be serving up innovation and that's AI's role in diversifying financial services. So if we compare that to say a restaurant menu, each service is a unique dish that goes from personal appetizers, say personal banking to main corporate, to main courses like an appetizer in corporate finance. So let's move on to the third course. And that's generative AI as the main ingredient, the new ingredients. We're going to explore the essence of generative AI, which is the game changing element that is set to revolutionize our financial cuisine. So look at it as a groundbreaking new ingredient in the financial sector. It's similar to a chef being introduced to an exotic, versatile spice that can transform a traditional recipe that you've been using in the past. It enhances the capability of a financial system to handle complex tasks such as data synthesis and scenario modeling much like how a rare ingredient can open up the new possibilities in culinary art. And moving on to the fourth course, and that's going to be preparing the dish, the role and responsibilities of how human creativity and AI efficiency combine to craft the innovative financial solutions. And with that, we're going to emphasize, and again, I want everyone to walk out of here not being intimidated by generative AI. That's the main goal. If you don't get anything out of this, I want you to always remember to not be intimidated by AI because you're the creative force the robots are not going to take over. So with that said, understand how human creativity and AI efficiency combine to create the innovative financial solutions. The role of human creativity is irreplaceable when it comes to finance. It's like a chef's flair to combining ingredients in new and exciting ways. So I want to make sure that we're discussing how financial professionals use their insight and experience to guide strategy and innovation. And we can discuss how AI tools enhance that efficiency by automating the routine tasks, managing data and executing operations swiftly, much like precision kitchen appliance handles the time-consuming preparations and combining that for innovation so the human creativity can direct the AI capabilities to explore new financial model and solutions, similar to how a chef might use a sous vide machine to experiment with cooking techniques that enhance flavors. So moving on to the next slide, is the fifth and sixth taste of success. And this is going to be AI powered financial delicacies. We'll discuss how AI is 
success, successfully implemented, such as things like personalized banking experiences, automized, automated risk management, advanced fraud detection, and streamlined customer service operations. We will show specific case studies that we have and describe how these institutions have improved efficiency, customer satisfaction, and innovative product offerings. And we'll delve, we'll delve into um, a couple of case studies. Like for example, we'll discuss a bank that's used AI to revolutionize its credit scoring system. They significantly reduced their defaults and a finance company that's utilized AI for real-time personalized investment advice and boosted their client portfolio returns. And then the seventh course, we'll talk about culinary caution, navigating the obstacles and ethical considerations in cooking up AI solutions and making sure we are ensuring a balanced approach. So we'll talk about common technical challenges such as data quality and integration, making sure that we are maintaining system security and the need for continually updating and training these AI systems. And it's like, it's the integration of AI and finance and introducing a powerful but del delicate new ingredient into classical recipes. It does require careful handling to maintain that balance and integrity. And the ethical considerations, addressing those issues, including data privacy, algorithmic, algorithmic bias and transparency, and comparing these to ethical sourcing and transparency in the culinary world, ensuring that the ingredients are not only high quality, but ethically obtained. So we'll highlight the need for compliance with financial regulations, similar to what they do in health and safety standards in a kitchen. We'll emphasize how AI must be carefully monitored and regulated to ensure that it serves its intended purpose without causing harm. And we'll look forward to the perspective on ongoing research, transparent practices, and collaborative efforts between technologists and regulators and how crucial it is to navigate these challenges just as feedback and, and adaptation is when it comes to its key in culinary art. And the eighth course, of course, is future flavors. Start by setting the scene for futures. We'll predict future advancements in AI that will allow for even more financial, personalized financial services. Things like a banking to investing. We'll talk about um, automated financial advising, the potential for AI-driven financial advisors to become more sophisticated providing insights and recommendations with unprecedented accuracy. Uh, similar to what is sommelier who perfectly pairs wine with every course. We'll talk about blockchain and AI integration. Highly uh, highlight the expected integration of blockchain technology with AI to enhance security and transparency to financial transactions. Much like the introduction of traceable farm to table ingredients in the culinary world. And we'll also talk about AI in regulatory compliance and anticipate the role of AI in simplifying and strengthening regulatory compliance, reducing costs and errors, and compare that to how modern kitchen technology ensures consistent quality and adherence to safety measures. And of course, when we talk about the future of AI, we can't forget ethics and ethics in AI development and how to emphasize you know, the importance of developing 
ethical AI solutions and consider privacy, bias, and equity and ensure that the future of AI in finance is as responsible as it is innovative and much like it's sustainable and ethical sourcing is in modern gastronomy. So with that said, the role of continuous innovation in finance driven by generative AI is preparing us for a future where financial solutions and services are just as dynamic and evolving as the world of gourmet cuisine. So with that said, let's start, let's get this party started. That's just the, that, that's just a look at the menu. Just wanted to get you started on, get, get your mouth watering on what we have to look forward to. So for starters, we're looking at transactional services. And that comes with daily account handling. Enhanced by generative AI, this service becomes a predictive assistant in daily account management. It's similar to how a chef anticipates the palate preferences of their guests. Examples would be AI forecasting upcoming bills, suggesting budget adjustments, and automating savings based on spending patterns. And then you have payment processing. AI ensures that every transaction is smooth and satisfying as their favorite appetizer. AI can use smart algorithms to secure transactions against fraud and speeds up the processing time. And examples of this would be real-time fraud detection alerts, automatic adjustment of payment methods based on success rates and fees. So the key benefits to this would be efficiency and personalization. It would handle the routine financial tasks, allowing customers to focus on their broader financial goals. And then there's the personalization aspect where AI tailors banking experiences to individualize financial behaviors and needs. And also, let's talk about enhanced security. AI enhances the security measures, and this reassures customers and the financial appetizer not only is delicious, but it's also safe. And so, from a future outlook perspective, this makes it more intuitive and anticip anticipatory feature that continues to refine the customer experience. So this is the appetizer or the starter outlook that we can see with generative AI. Does that make sense to everyone so far? I know I can't see the chat, <laughs> but I want you to open your mind when it comes to generative AI. If everyone can at least give me a thumbs up, if that makes sense, because what I want this to do is when you think of generative AI, I want you to think of it in terms of how can it take over my mundane tasks so I can be the creative force and think of the human side where I can focus on the customer, the one-on-one. -on -one. I can focus on the stakeholder. I can focus on the strategy. I can focus on the human things so the generative AI can take care of the routine, the automated, the things that now I don't have to do. I don't have to focus on. I don't have to keep on spinning my wheels and doing that's what the sous chef can do. That's what the line cooks can do. That's what the dishwashers can do. If you've ever watched Hell's Kitchen, think of yourself as, as Gordon Ramsay. You run the kitchen. You're responsible for everything that's going on. So the onus and the responsibility runs on you. 
You are the face. Generative AI is handling everything that you do, but they're executing your vision. And when I'm doing my engagements, my speaking engagements, regardless of the topic, that's how I always explain generative AI. You are Gordon Ramsay. You're, because Gordon Ramsay can't do it by himself. He is the name and he is the face. He is the creative force. But generative AI is the background. They're doing all the work and they're executing. But think about this. He's the one who has to communicate his vision effectively. He has to see it and then communicate what he sees effectively in order for them to execute. If you can see it from that perspective, all of everything that I'm saying will become very easy to grasp. Thumbs up if everything I just said makes sense, or even if it's clear as mud, give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you're listening to me. <laughs> okay, so let's move on because I tend to circle the airport, but I will land this plane. So I'm your pilot today. Enjoy your beverage of choice. I know right now we're over the ocean, but I will land this plane safely and you will get to your destination on time and you will get there happy and safe. So let's move on. Entrees. So entrees are going to be your investment services. And this is your stocks and bonds. So this is your strategic seasoning with AI. This is going to be, think of this as precise seasoning that anticipate your market moves. It's perfectly enhancing investment strategies. So I want you to think of this as AI, AI's ability to analyze market data and economic indicators to predict trends and make timely buy or sell decisions. So an example of this is using machine learning modules to simulate different market scenarios and adjust strategies in real time. AI can customize your investment portfolio with the precision of a master chef and blend a mix of assets that align perfectly with your taste and financial goals while you are communicating with your clients and making sure you are answering their questions and concerns one-on-one -on -one and giving them that personal white glove service. Does that make sense? Okay. And in this case, it's act, generative AI is acting like the precise seasoning that anticipates the market movements and it's doing everything and adjustments in the real time. So we'll move on for that. And we're going to portfolio management. So let me get to my next screen. So we are moving on to our specials. You know, when you go to a restaurant and you're looking at the menu and then your server comes out and he announces the specials of the day. This is not on the menu. And this is the, the a la carte, or this is the, the, the things that are not on the menu, but this is reserved for the special clientele. So this is what we're going to discuss. Business financing. This is the services that gener generative AI shapes with the precision of a nutritionist. These are plans that are crafted to support and energize your financial health. So this section is going to detail how AI can drive technologies to personalize business financing and personal loans to ensure that they fit the unique financial narratives of each of your customers. So let's talk about business financing and introduce AI's role that's similar to that of say a nutritionist who evaluates the overall health and potential of a business to provide a customized financial plan. AI would take the historical financial data, 
market trends and business models to forecast growth and determine appropriate financial structures. An example of this would be AI-driven risk assessments that adjust terms based on a business's financial stamina and market position. Another side of that would be personal loans and taking a, a loan that tailor fits to a personal financial narrative. So in this case, generative AI would customize loan options that align perfectly to an individual's financial situations, ensuring comfort and financial health. So AI would assess the personal financial data, their spending habits, future financial projections to offer precisely tailored loan habits, their loan amounts and terms. So in this example, the scenario analysis would allow a customer to see how different loan options would affect their financial health under various conditions. And the key benefits to this would be precision in customization. So instead of a, a one size fits all across market groups of customers, now we can highlight a precise tailored approach and AI can customize craft loan services, ensuring that each of your clients receives an optimized, an optimal solution for their specific needs. Because each customer is different. You might have a customer that's W-2 where their income is fixed. Whereas now, of course, we're post-COVID, People might have more of a gig type of income where they need a more personalized approach based on their gig type of focused driven solution. So now AI can approach it accordingly. And AI driven loans promote better financial management and growth similar to a diet plan enhances overall health. And also, with the efficiency and speed, AI can now process applications and perform the risk assessments and significantly reduce the time from the application to the approval compared to the traditional methods. Um, quick story time. I used to be a loan officer way back in the day. I'm about to age myself. For all you accounting and finance professionals out there, I don't know if you remember the 125 loans. <laughs> Put a hand in the chat if you do. This has probably led to the 2008 financial crisis. But um, I used to be one of those 125 loan officers. And um, we gave loans to everybody. I was one of the telemarketers for those loans. And um, that was not a good thing. But um, I do remember having to um, go through the entire sales loan pitch and ask for their debt to income ratio and, and go through those numbers and crunch those numbers. And looking back at those times, this is this, uh, clearly this is back in the 90s. I'm as as Tola mentioned in the beginning of the intro, um, I'm, I'm the AI whisperer and I, I cater to Gen X. So clearly I'm, I'm a Gen Xer, if you couldn't tell by my uh, wall in the background. Um, I'm clearly a, a print fan. Um, but I say all that to say, back then we had to go through the finances, clearly not with a fine tooth comb, but we had to just make sure that the equity that the homeowners had supported the 125 to get the loan. So with AI, if we had it back then, we would have been able to process and perform the risk assessment to reduce the time from the application to approval because we had underwriters who had to go through and, and do all of that. Um, of course, back then that should have been banned and not a thing because now looking back 25 or how many years later, we all know that that was not a win-win for anybody involved because 2008 happened. But um, 
as you can see from an automation point of view, it took about a week or two to go through underwriting before the loans were approved and so forth. So from an AI perspective, that time would have been cut down from a week to possibly hours, two, three at the most. So from a future outlook perspective, looking ahead, AI loan servicing, such as integrating real-time economic data from a more dynamically adaptable loan terms and the potential for use of blockchain for greater transparency and security um, will greatly be effective using generative AI. Um, so moving to desserts, that's FinTech Innovations. Um, and that's sweetening the deal. AI enhanced, um, and this is talking about blockchain. And I know blockchain is something that's definitely the new kid on the block. No, Gentech pun intended. Uh, but we're going to in this financial feast on a, on a high note uh, with desserts on our menu. And that's FinTech. Uh, this showcases how blockchain services and robo-advisors are powered by AI. They provide secure, efficient, and personalized financial experiences, much like how a crafted dessert rounds out a gourmet meal. So let's talk about blockchain services and enhance security and efficiency. AI amplifies the inherent security and efficiency of blockchain technology, very similar to how dessert can both surprise and delight with unexpected, unexpected flavors. Um, AI's role in optimizing blockchain algorithms for faster transaction verifications and more secure data encryption. Uh, as an example, AI-driven smart contracts automatically execute, verify, and enforce the negotiation of a contract. And that increases transparency and reduces delays. Um, when it comes to robo-advisors um, and these AI powered advisors serve up financial advice that's personalized and refreshing like an after dinner mint. And that offers advisors to analyze large volumes of data and then make very custom tailored suggestions that fit your individualized financial goals, your risk tolerances and timelines. So it's not a blanket set of advice that many of us are used to receiving, say, 10 years ago. Retire by age 65, be on a boat by age 70, and just paddle off into the sunset. Now, a lot of us don't want to do that. Some of us want to work until 75. Some of us may want to retire by 42. And now we have the capability of doing that if we have a plan in action to do that. And there's now AI algorithms that can adapt to those changes in a client's financial situation or market conditions and provide that up-to-date advice that aligns with those personal objectives. So the key benefits in all of this is to emphasize the delight that the customer can now feel when they know they're engaged with advanced AI-empowered FinTech services that can exceed their expectations. Because it's one thing to dream it, but it's another thing when they can visualize it, see it on paper, and they're receiving that white glove service from you. And you have it, you have the confidence of presenting it because generative AI has backed up the research for you, much like a dessert surprises and satisfies. And now you can tailor that experience because you highlight the customization capabilities of AI in FinTech, which ensures that every financial service provided is well suited to the user, just as their favorite dessert. And it's enhancing the trust and the reliability. 
you're discussing how AI's precision and ability to handle the complex calculations in financial services is, is, is the same consistency of a well-crafted dessert. So the future potential of integrating this AI deeper into FinTech solutions suggests innovations like voice activated trading, enhanced predictive analytics for investment, and the possibility of AI personalized insurance policies. So there's a lot of exciting things coming up on the horizon when it comes to FinTech innovation. So the next thing we have is the, this is the after dinner mint, the aperitif, the advisory services. So this is priming the palate. Um, and you start your financial experience with priming the palate where generative AI serves as the sommelier. And this is where enhancing the flavor and presentation of your financial planning. This is the marketing analysis. This is where generative AI can break everything down into palatable, palatable advice. And also we get into the regulatory comp compliance consulting. So as a market analysis, generative AI is we want to make sure it's always clear, insightful advice and prepare the clients for informed financial decisions. Just as I always want to make sure that generative AI is clear and distinct for you as the audience, you want to make sure that the information that you're providing for your clients, your stakeholders, and your in users is clear and concise as well. And so you want to prepare them to make informed financial decisions just as an aperitif prepares the palate for a meal. And so the capability of AI is to process and analyze vast data sets quickly. It identifies trends and opportunities that might be missed by human analysts. So an example of this, the use of natural language processing to interpret market, to interpret market sentiment from news articles and social media offering a comprehensive market outlet is a great example of generative AI. Something that we may miss with our human eyes generative AI can catch. And that's what I mean about letting AI do the mundane, mundane task. Let it read those articles. Let it capture that data. Let it do that grunt work so you can focus on being the creative source. So you can focus on the human element. So you can for, focus on the one-on-one. -on -one. Let it do that back end work, let it capture all that data, let it ingest it and let it summarize it for you. It's human-like behavior. It's a human brain. People make the mistake of thinking generative AI is a robot. Generative AI is not a robot. Generative AI is human brain behavior. So it can mimic the human brain. It's like having an assistant. It's a mini you. But remember, it is a mini you. You can program it to do what you need it to do. Feed it the information that you need it to do, and it will do it. Just make sure you're letting it know what you need it to do. It's not a robot. It's human brain like and always use the term like because you are the human but it's a human brain behavior 
So with that said, let's move into, I get so passionate about this, guys. I'm so sorry. And, and that's why you'll see me watching the clock because I want to make sure we don't run out of time. But every time I, 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 I speak about generative AI, I get so hyped because I'm, okay. Sorry. Okay. Regulatory compliance consulting. So AI can navigate intricate webs of regulation just like a sommelier. Now, here's the thing about generative AI. At the end of the day, and this is a sermon that I will never get off the platform of. Again, you're Gordon Ramsay. You are the executive chef. Generative AI is generative AI. The onus, the responsibility, the accountability will always fall on you as the executive chef. It's on your shoulders. You cannot make generative AI as the scapegoat. Anything that you program or anything that comes out of generative AI, the ethics, the bias, the responsibilities all falls on you. And I'm going to give you, this is a real life human example. This is how I want you to picture it. Think of a restaurant and things are coming out of the kitchen. If a customer receives a bone in their fish, if they get raw chicken, if the service is not good and the customer is not satisfied, it could be a customer, stakeholder, it doesn't matter. If the end user is not satisfied, if they are unhappy for any reason, the accountability falls on you as the executive chef. It is not on generative AI. That's on you because it's your responsibility to make sure that the prompt engineering was properly fed to generative AI. And I know that's a separate topic, so I'm not gonna get into it. Gonna... The customization of how you wanted your creativity, your vision input into generative AI, that falls on you as the executive chef. The privilege of using generative AI is on you. So the responsibility, the accountability falls on the human, not generative AI. So please, if you don't take anything away from that, two things. One, generative AI is simple. Two, the account of, because of its simplicity, the accountability does lie on the human. So with that said, moving on, regulatory compliance consulting. Similar to a sommelier who expertly selects the perfect wine, it ensures that the financial operations are both compliant and refined. So AI systems keep track of changing regulations across different jurisdictions and can automatically update compliance protocols. So as an example, AI tools that simulate regulatory audits to identify potential non-compliance issues before they become problematic. So some key benefits of this, being prepared and confident. AI in advisory service can equip clients with the confidence to make strategic financial decisions that are supported by deep insights and compliance insurance. Another benefit is enhanced efficiency and precision. AI brings to advisory services reduce time and effort that's needed for complex analyses and compliance checks. Another key benefit is customization and personalization. And that emphasizes the tailored approach of AI, which, which adjusts advice and compliance strategies that's based on which that's based on the specific needs and the context of each client, and that ensures optimal outcomes. So as a recap, generative AI is the secret sauce. In advisory services, it enhances traditional financial services by making them more efficient, personalized, and secure. So 
AI not only enriches understanding and compliance, but it ensures that your clients are perfectly primed for the complex world of finance. So that's what generative AI at the end of the day is secret sauce. Something tells me you'll want to remember that secret sauce question. So keep that in mind. Human creativity, the master chef, idea generation. In this section, what we'll do is we're going to explore the indispensable role of human creativity in the financial sector. And we'll draw the parallels with the inventive and attentive nature of a master chef. This is going to highlight how financial professionals leverage creativity, emotional intelligence, and the ethical oversight to innovate and tailor services, ensuring that AI tools are used responsibly to enhance client outcomes. So let's start with idea generation. Culinary creativity applied to finance. Much like to chefs experimenting with new recipes and innovating with new products and strategies, finance and financial uh, professionals, you know, it, it, it's it's really very similar. It's creative thinking in, in financial tools. Think of blockchain technologies or AI-driven platforms. Like, for example, um, crafting investment strategies that adapt to market changes or creating inclusive banking services that address previously unmet client needs. So thinking of emotional intelligence, intelligence, catering to client palate. Similar to how a chef considers individual dietary preferences, financial professionals use emotional intelligence to understand and address needs and emotional concerns. So think of emotional intelligence in terms of building client relationships and delivering services that genuinely meet clients' financial and personal aspirations. An example of this would be tailoring retirement planning that aligns with personal goals or sensitive handling of clients through economic downturns. Um, I can't think of a better example of an economic downturn than what we're facing right now um, through this time as we speak. Ethical oversights. Maintaining the health of financial offerings. Um, think of a chef that ensures the healthiness of their dishes and the financial leaders that are overseeing the ethical application of AI. Um, there is a necessity of upholding the high ethical standards in AI's implementation to prevent misuse and ensure fairness. An example of this would be developing frameworks to detect and mitigate AI biases and ensure that transparency in AI-driven decision-making processes are being used and implemented. Um, the key benefits of this is innovative and adaptive solutions. Creativity fuels the create uh, fuels creation of innovation, and adaptive financial solutions can better withstand market volatility and respond to new opportunities. And then there's deeper client engagement. It helps you understand client emotions and that leads to deeper engagement or personalized service and increasing client satisfaction and loyalty. And then of course, a trusted financial environment that helps emphasize the ethical oversight 
and that ensures financial services remain trustworthy, client-focused, and especially as technology becomes more integrated into everyday financial activity. So AI efficiency, that's the kitchen gadgets. AI's role in data analysis, automation, and client-specific customization really emphasizes its impact on enhancing efficiency and delivering tailored financial services. So let's talk about data analysis. That's the food processor of data. AI is the food processor that efficiently handles vast amounts of market data. It slices through complex complexities to uncover valuable trends and insights. It details how this data processing can aid financial pro professionals in quickly identifying opportunities and risks. An example of this would be AI algorithms that detect emerging market patterns or assesses economic shifts for proactive investment adjustments. Automated processes. AI's role in finance to kitchen gadgets automates mundane tasks such as electric peelers or autom automatic stirrers that frees up time for more creative culinary efforts. So in AI, that would manage repetitive financial tasks like transaction processing, compliance monitoring, or routine customer inquiries. Now we can enable professionals to concentrate on higher level strategies and client interactions. Examples of this would be robotic process automation or RPA systems that handle end-to-end -end loan processing or fraud detection systems that operate in real time. Personalization, adjusted, adjustable kitchen tools, AI customizes financial advice and products to fit individual client profiles. This is similar to modern kitchen gadgets that adjust settings to achieve the perfect cooking result. So in AI, that would be the ability to analyze client data to tailor investment advice, financial plans, and even banking services to individual needs. An example of this would be personalized investment apps that modify asset allocations based on changes in financial goals or risk tolerance and banking bots that customize saving advice based on spending patterns. The key benefits to these would be enhanced efficiency and productivity. AI increases productivity by taking over time-consuming data analysis and tax task execution, much like time-saving kitchen gadgets. It can tailor financial services. It stresses the capability of AI to deliver highly personalized financial service, I'm sorry, highly personalized financial advice and services, ensuring that every client solution is as unique as a custom recipe. And then there's scalability and innovation. AI enables financial services to scale operations efficiently and innovate continuously, much like how new kitchen technologies revolutionize cooking techniques. And so now our takeaways. Collaboration is key, an essential partnership. The partnership between human creativity and AI is like the collaborative dynamic between a chef and their kitchen tools. Effective financial solutions are the result of this synergy. It combines the strategic insight of financial professionals with the robust data processing capabilities of AI. And to use and highlight this collaboration has led to innovative financial products and enhanced service offerings, much like how a chef uses both traditional techniques and modern equipment to create exceptional dishes. And balancing these roles outlined the distinct but complementary roles of humans and AI in the financial sectors. And I know I'm running low on time, so I want to go over these case studies 
The first one is ANOVA. ANOVA employed AI and machine learning on its lending platform to enhance financial analytics and credit enhancements that focused on service, non-prime customers, and small businesses. It addressed real-life challenges like emergency. I have to move this because I can't see. Oops, way back. Okay. Sorry. All right, so I lost that. We'll, we'll go to Acrolis. Acrolis offers document processing software, and these are real companies. Acrolis offers document processing software that blends machine learning with human verification, and it speeds up the increasing accuracy of financial document analysis. And this software is pivotal in determining loan eligibility across various lending types. And that includes mortgage and business, enhancing efficiency and credit scoring and KYC processes. So if you can picture a crawlist as a masterful kitchen gadget that doesn't just speed up prep, but refines it, it merged AI precision with the sommelier's nose for detail, ensuring that every financial document is a recipe for success. And so I'm going to go to the next study because there's actually four. Data Robot offers machine learning software that accelerates the creation of accurate predictive models for financial services, helping with tasks like detecting fraudulent transactions and optimizing wealth management strategies. Its solutions empower firms to make smarter underwriting decisions, impacting lending efficiently and risk management. And then the last case study is Synaptic AI. It provides a credit underwriting platform that enhances transparency and reduces loss for bank and credit institutions. It leverages non-trade line data and adaptive AI models to offer predictive intelligence for credit decisions, revolutionizing traditional underwriting processes. So these are the four companies that integrated generative AI to make it better for their organization. So identifying allergens, bias detection, cross-contamination cross concerns, data privacy, and sustainable sourcing, ethical data use, ingredients must be ethically sourced, Data used in AI solutions should be gathered and employed responsibility and a balanced diet, diversity inclusion, ensuring that our AI solutions cater to a diverse range of needs, much like a menu offering options for our dietary preferences. In crafting AI solutions, we strive for a gourmet experience that's both delightful and ethical, nourishing the financial health and well being for our customers without compromise. AI is the personal financial chef, blockchain is the pantry, and automation is the financial kitchen. So let's embrace the future where finance marries technology in an ever evolving banquet of innovations, constantly surprising us with new possibilities to manage, invest, and enjoy our financial lives. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. I appreciate each and every one of you.